failed former President Donald Trump, who again wants to be president starting in January of 2025, is reportedly planning to bring back firing squads for the execution of death penalty sentences and wants to televise elements of those executions, maybe not the most gruesome part, but at least elements of it. This is all part of Trump's, I guess, new look 2024 campaign in which he's talking about executing drug dealers who he falsely claims are responsible for 500 deaths each. Uh, a line he has often repeated at rallies. There is a wild, wild Rolling Stone article by Azawin Subsang and Patrick Rice. Trump plans to bring back firing squads, group executions if he retakes the White House. And the article uh, explains how Donald Trump has been asking more and more associates about this idea. Trump uh, is committed to expanding the use of the death penalty, the article writes, and he wants to bring back some banned methods of execution. He is even one source says mused about televising footage of executions, including showing condemned prisoners in the final moments of their lives. This is very deranged. It is extraordinarily authoritarian, and we should all be genuinely scared about it. Uh, the article continues. Trump has talked about bringing back death by firing squad, by hanging, and according to two of the sources, possibly even by guillotine. He has also discussed group executions and he floated these ideas while discussing planned campaign rhetoric and policy desires, as well as his disdain for Biden's approach to crime. Here's another wild element to this. In at least one instance late last year, Trump privately mused about possibly creating a flashy government backed video ad campaign, which would accompany a federal revival of these execution methods in the vision that Trump has. The videos would have footage from the new executions, if not from the exact moments of death. The source told Rolling Stone, the former president believes this would help put the fear of God into violent criminals. He wanted to do some of these things when he was in office, but for whatever reasons, he didn't have the chance for whatever reason. Trump wasn't able to bring back death by guillotine and then televise the executions. We don't we don't know why he just wasn't able to do it. So this is really, really scary and crazy. And we are all right to see this and to cringe and to say, what the hell is this about? This guy is sick. But there's another more practical question I'm wondering about. Is this going to get out the vote? Is there a desire from your average Republican voter to have new and more not new to revive the more brutal forms of carrying out execution and death sentences like the guillotine and firing squads? What about group executions? I mean, you know, the 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 sort of funny there's very little that's funny about this. Very, very little. It's genuinely horrifying. The one part that is funny is that there's a little detail in there that shows Trump's lack of understanding of how anything works. When Trump talks about group executions, we all know it takes so long to carry out a death sentence between appeals and backlogs and all of these different processes that take place. The idea that it would even be logistically possible to coordinate multiple federal executions on the same day and do it as a group. Forget about the morality of it. Forget about what it means for the country. Forget about all the idea that it would even be logistically possible to carry that out just shows Trump's complete and total lack of understanding of how anything works and a complete lack of a connection to reality. But he wants to do it. My question is, is there really an appetite for this, even from Republican voters who were willing to vote Trump? Do they want this? I have a hard time believing that they do. One of our sponsors is Zipix nicotine toothpicks. Don't you think it's time you stopped putting smoke and vape oils in your lungs? Zipix toothpicks are a convenient way to curb the nicotine cravings. Zipix toothpicks are super discreet. You can use them anytime, anywhere. Smoking and vaping aren't allowed, including flights, sporting events in restaurants. They're available in six different flavors with options of two and three milligrams of nicotine. If you're not a nicotine user, Zipix also offers caffeine and B12 infused toothpicks. Zipix has already helped tens of thousands of customers ditch the cigarettes, ditch the vapes. They might be able to help you too. If you're a smoker or a vapor, give Zipix toothpicks a try. 
your lungs will thank you. Go to zipixtoothpicks.com today. Save 10% with the code PACMAN10 at checkout. Just remember, you must be 21 or older to order. The link is down below.